Okay, so I'm going to measure off of the face now. I can use either my, you know, little post and know with my eye measurement, or I can use my 4-H pencil, whatever you feel like it works best for you, that's fine. But really, there isn't a whole lot of space from the edge of our eyes to our face. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my post-it note. And I'm going to go ahead, because it's convenient, it actually matches up pretty perfectly, I'm going to measure off the edge of my eye to the edge of my hairline. So not my head, but my hairline. I'm just mark right here on that line that I did. Do the same. I'm going to measure off of the other side. Just a little less. Now this might, and especially when we do this side, this side right here, it'll help you fix your eyebrows too if you made your eyebrows too wide. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure off the edge of my nose to the edge of my face. And I don't know, let's see, I may have to use my pencil for this because this is a little bit of a larger space. Eh, I can maybe make it work. It's, a, it's bigger, but I'm going to estimate. And again, do it on both sides. We're not symmetrical. Both sides are not the same. And then for my um, chin, I'm going to just measure off my lips to figure out where the bottom of my chin is. Even though I've got it down there, I may need to change it. I need to do just a little bit more. So I don't know if it's easy to see here, but I'll kind of make these marks darker. All right, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of draw the sides of my face. I'm going to kind of skip the bottom, and you'll see here why in a little bit. But one of the things I do want to point out, you guys all know when you get a headache sometimes and you rub your temples. Okay, so this area right here in the temples, what I want you to do is go ahead and feel that. Put your hands on your head, feel that. You'll feel that your, um, the top of your cheekbone is right underneath there. That's what creates that, um, high, that lower section of that. And then you've got where your um, forehead is, okay? So in that spot right there, so it kind of pokes out right here under the eye. And you just got this little dip. So I'm going to go ahead and put the little dip in here. Now, I don't know if this is in the right spot right now. I'm going to feel my head. I'm just going to kind of draw that in real generic because, again, I want to draw it wrong so I can figure out how to make it right. And then I'm just going to start and drawing this in. And what you'll see when I do this stuff, I um, make a lot of really thick lines, and that's um, my way of giving myself something to work off of. Oh, and I didn't measure off the side of my face or my mouth, so I'm going to do that too. Yep, because I thought I was making that too thin. Sorry guys, I missed an edge. So I've got that, okay, real generic. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of do the chin. Now, depending on what shape your chin is, now some of you might have a really round chin, some of you might have a small chin, 
Some of you might have a squared chin, a wide chin. Everybody's different. But use your mouth to help you with that, okay? So I'm going to use plumb and level. I've kind of got a squared um, chin. So my chin's kind of flat at the bottom. I've got two edges to it. So I'm going to look where those edges are compared to my mouth. And that's what I'm going to use to kind of help me. And it's just a little bit smaller, not quite as wide as my mouth itself. And again, I'm just going to make real generic one here to begin with. And then hopefully that way I find my jawline. With your jawline or the back of your jawline, you'll get a little bend to it. You want to find that. which sometimes can be, it can be lower than your mouth or it can be at your mouth. It just depends on what kind of uh, angle you have to the mirror. So you want to figure out where is the back of your jawline? Is it under or below your mouth or is it at your mouth? And then what I do is I just very simply take my pencil and I start carving out my form that I want with my eraser. So this is how I play with it. After you do this for a little bit, um, it's nice to, again, show this to somebody. And then, too, what you can do is even map out your chin. If some of you guys have a really defined chin, you can, a lot of us have this little kind of dip between our, um, bottom, our mouth and our chin. So it's kind of like that represents the top of your chin. So you can plug that in, too, if you want to. Again, you can measure it off.
And that will help break up that, that chin area. If it's looking a little too big, it might be because you're missing that. And then what you can do, once you kind of deal with the bottom, you can go ahead and uh, draw in your hairline for, to, to define your um, forehead. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm just going to measure from, like, my eyebrows and stuff up to my hairline. So the hairline is not even, so it's not going to look nice and neat, uh, but it would at least kind of help me frame out the whole face and uh, just help me again fixing any proportions that I need to. And I'm going to use, again, just my little post-it note paper with my eye measurement on it, and I'm just going to build off of that. Just going to kind of pick out a few points to use, like the middle of my eye. All right, so the rest of um, your time for today is for you guys to continue to tweak and adjust your um, face shape. Um, use it also, too, to fix anything else up because on uh, Friday, the next thing we'll start off with is ears, and then we'll go to neck and shoulders.